my name is Nick Tilson. I'm uh, a citizen of the Oglala Lakota Nation, and I'm the executive director of the Thunder Valley Community Development Corporation. One of my very first memories that I ever had as a child was my parents were participating in a protest, and uh, at a young age, I was tear gassed. That's a pretty strong imprint. So I, th I think there's always a sort of desire in me to fight, to want to have change. But if there was any aha moment, it was probably when I was about 18. I worked for a nonprofit organization called the Odyssey US Trek. And the people that I felt that were making the most difference in the world were people that were deeply embedded into the communities, largely that they were from, for at least one or two generations. And one of the things I walked away with was, hey, if I want to create change in this world, I should do it in my home community. When I was about 19 years old, I moved home back to the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and I've been doing work ever since and never left. In Indian country and in Indian communities, we have extremely resilient culture, extremely resilient people and, and principles and things that we stand for and that we believe in. But also these places are extreme pockets of poverty. The community I come from has about you know 70% unemployment and it's been that way you know for the last 150 years. You know, you're five and a half hours from Denver, you know, nine hours from Minneapolis, pretty much one of the most isolated places in the country. So as indigenous people, there's many things that we are owed, you know, by the federal government, like legally binding obligations. But the mentality of that you're owed something is a tough mentality to be in, especially when you have to innovate. You have no choice but to innovate. This is a kind of a historic day here because uh, this is one of our first big steps in purchasing this land. About 10 years ago, we founded the Thunder Valley Community Development Corporation, and it grew out of a whole movement of young people connecting to culture, spirituality, identity. And we realized we wanted to tackle the issue of resiliency and sustainability. So we created a sustainable community development corporation that has a seven-generation concept we have to look forward three generations, look back three generations. We have to be present with the generation that we're in today. Our work has been developing what that looks like. Thunder Valley is doing a 34 acre planned development and building a community 100% from scratch. And we broke ground almost two years ago. And it's about a 10 year, $60 million project with huge goals of sustainability. These things, you know, big, bold visions and the development and the work itself meets the needs that we have. It's creates some jobs, it creates housing, it reconnects us to food. Imagine if every community did that in the world. Set goals of we're going to do water reclamation, we're going to clean our water 100% before it goes back into Mother Earth. We're going to produce 100% of our energy, producing 100% of the food that we need. These things, all of a sudden, us doing this work on a isolated Indian reservation has global implications. We're doing it in the hardest place there is to do anything. So we sort of tongue in cheek say, you know, if we can do it on Pine Ridge, uh, what the hell's everybody else's excuse? And, and, and trying to move people through action. Generationalism was probably one of the biggest challenges. Everybody says, hey, it's all about the young people, you know, hurrah, get the young people to be leaders. Then when, you know, those young people become leaders, not always does people want to pass the torch. Not always is that process seamless. I believe that everybody has the ability to be a change maker. And I think that being a change maker is directly related to mobility. When people have their basic needs met, the ability to innovate, to motivate others, to help one others, to look beyond what your basic things are just right in front of you is a game changer. In Lakota, we say midakoyase. Midakoyase. In our language, that means that we are all related. And that's a pretty profound thing to think about. All people are related. All living things are related. Our interaction to all systems are related. And if we actually begin to acknowledge that, then we'll make decisions from this place. <laughs>